a Christmas present from a very dear friend of mine. That's right. That's right. With that famous line, Zuzu stole the hearts of adoring movie fans all over the world and became a part of Hollywood history. But little Zuzu is all grown up now and she's here today. Please welcome actress Carolyn Grimes. made that movie as just a little girl, did you have any idea the impact it had on people around the world? Oh, no, no. The movie was not a success when it came out. It was a box office failure. Yeah. So nobody knew how wonderful this movie was going to affect American people. Right, right. Not as a little girl. You didn't, you, as, a, as a little girl, you didn't know that. But oh, obviously no. today, you must today. hear over and over and over <laughs> again from people. What do people tell you about that movie? They share their stories with me about how that movie has affected their lives. Um, some people have considered suicide and have watched the film. A lot of psychologists have told me that they recommend to their depressed patients that they watch the movie at least once. Wow. And, and it turns their lives around and it gives them hope. Yeah. I mean, it's just... There were so many a scenes in that movie that I think people can grab hold to. Oh, yes. And uh, what was Jimmy Stewart's favorite scene? Jimmy Stewart's favorite scene was in Nick's bar when he said a prayer and he said, God, I'm not a praying man, Yeah. but I'm at the end of my rope. In fact, we have that scene and we'd like to take a look at it right now. Great. God. I'm not a praying man, but if you're up there and you can hear me, show me the way. I'm at the end of my rope, right? Show me the way. Carolyn, your life has not been a bed of roses. Are there times when you've kind of referred either consciously or subconsciously back to this movie for inspiration? Yes, there have been many times. Um, no, my life has not been wonderful, but I feel like that it's a path that I've had to take. Yeah. I do believe that uh, the angels, someone was guiding me throughout my life yeah. and gave me the strength to go through a lot of um, hurdles in life. A lot of times people assume that you're a Hollywood actress, life is perfect for you. It was not. At an early age, you saw tragedy. That's true. I, I was in 16 films. I was on television. I was in a lot of things. It's kind of funny that um, Mr. Uh, Larry <laughs> mentioned The Preacher's Wife. I was in the original movie, The Bishop's Wife, mm -hmm. with Cary Grant and David Nevin. But I was in a lot of films, and um, I, I disappeared. Well, what happened to me was very simple. My mother got very sick, and she died when I was 14. And then my father was killed in an automobile accident when I was 15. So I became an orphan and a ward of the court. Mm -hmm. They shipped me to a little town in the Midwest in Missouri. There were 900 kids in my high school class at L.A. High. And in this little town, there were 900 people. What kept you going? Well... Somehow or other, I had an inner strength. There was someone that gave me the courage to go on and, and told me, yes, an angel told me there was more in life for me. And so I would go to bed every night and I would pray to God to help me. And I would visualize myself happy and what I wanted in life. Right. I'd see it every night. You had the death of your parents to deal with, mm -hmm. and then you had a death to deal with that is probably the hardest thing a parent ever has to go through. Well, that's very true. I, um, I had also encountered two, two husbands that uh, had died, mm -hmm. um, one of, after 25 years of marriage. But probably the most devastating thing that ever happened to me was to lose my 18-year-old son. The worst thing was that he did commit the act of suicide. Yeah. Had he ever seen uh, that movie and then talked no. to you about it? No, I did not raise my children on that film. Yeah. Um, I was 
I was a Betty Crocker. I, I raised seven kids, you know. <laughs> I lived in the kitchen, the laundry room, and, and the car. Mm. My life was not Hollywood. My Hollywood days were in the basement. Yeah. And I raised my children. So I didn't really think that it, it, I thought it would be bragging if I, if I it wasn't important be. to me that, because I was in these films. Yeah. But you got through so, with the same strength that you got through losing other loved ones. And again, that's the true. angel in your life. And then you met this angel on earth. Well, I kind of did. Yeah. <laughs> the angels pushed us together, that's for sure, because it was, there's no coincidences. It happened. Yeah. Your um, husband? Yes. Who is yes. with us this morning. And you met him, at, coincidentally, coincidentally, where? At the American Association of Suicidology's National Convention in Memphis. Yeah. I was the keynote speaker, and he was a psychologist attending the conference. Yeah. And um, we feel, felt drawn together. Some of the things I said, he, his philosophies agreed with, and we had a lot in common. And, and, and what we do today is, is, is try to touch people's lives. We practice the message from the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, right. that each man's life touches another. And yeah. it's so important to give them hope and, and to, to, sh to, sh to share with them. You've been in their shoes. And in your new you, book. There is, there is hope. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, as we've seen today. <laughs> in your, your new book that you have out, what, is that the message that you want people to get from this book? Um, not, not necessarily. Yeah. I, um, I'm a happy person. Um, actually, he wrote the book about my career in, in the business. Yeah. And um, a little bi biography there tells a little bit about my life. But I just want people to know that it is a wonderful life. And not to take it for granted, to live each moment and, and share. Give of yourself to other people, and it'll come back to you a thousand times over. Yeah, and learning to focus on what I had to do when I lost my brother is to focus on all the good times that we had together as opposed to focusing on him not being here in the literal sense right now. And for that, even if it was just five minutes, for that, it was actually 20, 21 years, but for that, I'm thankful. It is true. Yeah. And one of the things you can always remember that you can ring a bell. And that gives that person wings. Yeah. Thank it makes you, you feel like you're doing something. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We'll be right back with a very special treat, so don't go away. Mm -hmm.